what's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel if you have not already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn on your post notifications so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video okay so I am newly divorced um, and it's been finalized since about mid-July um, most of the time when I tell people that I'm newly divorced or I'm divorced um, people are like, oh, I'm sorry. And I know sometimes divorce can be a sad thing, but for me, it is not. I feel like I have been emotionally divorced for two and a half years. So the act of actually filing was like a moment to exhale or a moment that I felt relief. So today I'm going to give you guys three steps to give you a quantum leap from heartbreak to healing. Number one, help others as much as you possibly can. And I know I've said this before, but I think it's important to lose yourself in the act of servicing others. When I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't really have a goal in mind. I mean, my handle was family, fitness, and foolishness. Once my divorce was finalized and I felt alive again, I was happy, I felt like I was thriving, I revamped my entire channel because I wanted to create this platform to help others in a way that I couldn't necessarily help with the Facebook post or that I couldn't necessarily help with just the Instagram post. I revamped this channel to create a space to where I can give tips and steps that I use in weight loss and healing and manifestations and affirmations and the list will go on and on and on i just wanted to help others as much as i can in any way that i possibly can number two go through it and not around it if you are traveling from shreveport which is where i am to california you might want to find a whole bunch of shortcuts because that'll decrease the time that you're on the road when you're trying to heal yourself from a situation, you don't want to take a whole lot of shortcuts. Allow yourself to feel the hurt. Allow yourself to feel betrayed. Allow yourself to feel every emotion that is attached to the breakup, the divorce, or whatever it is you're going through. Allow yourself to feel everything. Then you'll understand, okay, if it was not for that, I would not be experiencing this. See, I allowed to feel the hurt that I felt. Um, and now that I'm happy and I feel alive again, I understand why that hurt was necessary. So allow yourself to go through every emotion that's attached to whatever it is you're going through. And number three, and I think this is my favorite of all. Focus on your strength. Um, a part of me focusing on my strengths is learning the history of the, the men and women in my family that came before me. Um, my sister and I have been kind of researching our ancestral line and just knowing and knowing the great strength of the women that I've that I'm that I come from, like, it's wow. You know, like you learn so many amazing things about your history when you kind of dig a little deep. Back um, to the 1800s. And it is just so amazing. Just looking at, like I have a few pictures of great grandmothers that I've never met and to learn the things that they did in their life even you know, back then, it is just amazing to me. So, what your strengths are. Find out where you come from. Find out exactly who you are because if it was not for them, you wouldn't even exist. So, dig deep into your 
family history and understand what you are made of. I know like that. I come from a long line of women of strength and resilience. So that's why I'm like, oh okay, this makes sense. You go you done you've been through this, you've been through this, <laughs> you've been through this. That makes sense why you still smile and why you still happy, why you still have joy in your heart, why you still want to help others because this is what you were created of. So and yeah that okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up you know you want to now what stage you're in in the process because regardless of whether it's a relationship a marriage even if it's a partnership or a business partnership we are in some phase of whether it's heartbreak or healing on where you are um and allow yourself to go through that process. And if you are in the heartbreak stage of whatever it is, know that healing is just a moment away. It's just you deciding, okay, I'm ready to go through my healing stage, okay? And go through it. Go through it, own it, and be that. Be boss up and be, you know, own it. <laughs> And then be the badass that you are, okay? Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again on my next video.